This video was produced in a studio environment with de-energized equipment. Follow the cable or component manufacturer's instructions and your standard operating procedures when using Speed Systems tools. Measure and mark the Semicon strip back according to the component manufacturer's instructions. Verify that the blade lever is in the square cut position and set the Semicon score blade depth to cut through most of the Semicon layer without cutting through to the insulation. Check the blade depth on a scrap piece of cable if one is available or by visually checking the blade at the end of the cable. The blade depth should be set to approximately 3 to 5 thousandths inch less than the Semicon thickness. Place the 1700SS on the cable at the point you marked. Make sure the cable is as straight as possible. Rotate the tool counterclockwise around the cable to make the square cut. Without removing the tool from the cable, move the blade lever to the spiral position and rotate the tool until it reaches the end of the Semicon. Open the jaws and remove the 1700SS from the cable. Use a knife, such as the Speed Systems SC11 Edge Wedge, to lift the edge of the Semicon so you can grab it with pliers, such as the Speed Systems SC13 Semicon Roller Grip. Use the Semicon Roller Grip to roll the Semicon from the insulation until you reach the square cut. Use gentle pressure toward the square cut and keep the distance between the pliers and the cable to a minimum to prevent tearing of the Semicon. You may see a spiral pattern on the insulation. Rub your thumbnail along the insulation to ensure that it is just a shadow line left by the impression of the blade and not a cut into the insulation. Speed Systems, providing quality American-made tools since 1970.